What's up, guys? <laughs> I have to do it with you. <laughs> What's, What's up, guys? guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to put you through the tests between the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 7 Plus. I've been rocking the iPhone 8 Plus now for about three weeks. I've had the 7 Plus for, I don't know, I want to say almost a year, probably. Um, I love this phone. Um, my first instincts towards this one is that it's okay. I don't think it's that much better than the 7 Plus, but that's the purpose of today's video. This is not a scientific review at all. I want to do a real world test of these phones. This isn't about, you know, the DxO scores or megapixels. It's when you use this phone, like every other person's going to use this phone, which one actually looks better. And if anything, can you even tell the difference between the two to justify why this one's even more money than the 7 Plus? You have what, an iPhone 6? iPhone 7. You have an iPhone 7? Yeah. But not the Plus. No, the little BB. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go test some food shots with the portrait mode and with the regular mode um, because everyone likes to take pictures of food and that's something that people do and I'm also really hungry. Are you hungry? I'm starving. She's gonna use the 7 Plus because she's old and ghetto and I'm new and hot. <laughs> For this test, we're looking at color and saturation, and we're going to be taking some pictures of some pumpkins. We just got back from shooting, what did we shoot, a donut? A donut. Using the regular mode and the portrait mode. Just looking at the photos on the phones themselves, I gotta say, I still think the 7 Plus is doing a better job with the depth mapping. I mean, the sharpness and the color is a little bit better on the 8, but I mean, if you're gonna shoot a portrait of your food, I feel like this nails it faster and it nails it better. Now we're at beautiful Humber Park in Toronto, where we're gonna do the majority of the testing with these phones. So we're gonna try the video out in the 4K 30. The 8 Plus shoots 4K 24. The 7 Plus only shoots 4K 30, which is a bit of a down fall of the 7, but we'll put this one to the 4K30 and this one to 4K30. Are you remembering these? I'll deal with the settings, don't worry about that. <laughs> but we're going to try the portrait mode on people, so I'll take a photo of Fran and Fran will take a photo of me with either phone. Um, we'll also take some shots of some leaves because everyone seems to love leaves with these phones. So basic. Um, and we're going to shoot the skyline so you can see what the zoom is like on both of these phones. You excited to start shooting? I'm stoked. Cool. We got the Toronto skyline behind Fran. We're gonna try out the portrait modes on the 8 Plus and the 7. First up is the 8 Plus. So for people, I think, oh, there was a leaf. Uh, for people, I think they both do a pretty good job. I think it's different when you start to get up close with objects and, and like macro type subjects with portrait mode. Um, I don't think there's much of a difference between the two for people. So if your focus is just shooting people with portrait mode, I think it does the job with both phones, but I wouldn't say the 8 Plus is that much better. What do you think? Mine was laggy. Slow? Yeah, was yours laggy? Uh, I would say the speed is definitely better with the 8 Plus, but I mean, I don't know if it's worth the money for the speed difference. Mm. If you didn't know any better, I don't think you'd think it was slow. Really? And they're both running 11.1, I believe, iOS. So they're both up to date. So Fran's gonna shoot some macro stuff with the 7 Plus. Ooh, I like that. So right away, it's already having issues. I'm gonna re screen record this. Get the receipts? Get the receipts. Yeah, it just like can't figure out. See, I did it no problem. It's actually really bad. It's missing entire portions of the, it's really bad. I think the seven's gonna win this round. Yeah, yeah. Hands down. You, you're okay. This one, 
real fucking ugly. She's struggling. Okay, now we're on the beach. A couple things we're gonna do here. We're gonna take some pictures of the rocks so you can see full out sharpness. We're gonna get up nice and close, do some macro stuff. And then we're gonna look at the city and test out the two times optical zoom. Both cameras have two lenses, both have two times zoom. I'm not expecting either one to look very different, but we'll see what happens. Drake Commissary. We're gonna grab some lunch and do some low light interior cocktail photography and food. Well, that would be nice. That would be nice. That would be nice. Let's check it out. Okay, so we ate. I think what's next is we need to do some low light stuff. And as you can see, the sun is starting to go down. So I think until then, the next shot will probably be the low light. I mean low light time! <sighs> so we realized while we were driving that before we do the low light, we should probably do a dynamic range test. And if you're not familiar with what dynamic range means, it means how well the camera handles the highlights and the low lights. So what you're looking for is details in the low lights, but also details in the highlights in that spectrum in between. So we have a pretty high contrast scene just to our rear here, my anus. Um, so we're gonna take a shot at shooting it with the 7 Plus and the 8 Plus and see which camera does better. Spoiler alert, I don't think either is gonna do bad or good. I think they're gonna be okay. Pretty meh photo if you're gonna ask me. Now the next time's gonna be a little late. Now. 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 Right now. Well like later, but like. Smash the lens. Did I do it right? Yeah. Um, so we are now in Mississauga. We've just been all around the GTA today. Um, but we are testing the low light capabilities on the iPhone 7 and iPhone 8 Plus. And I still think the 7 is going to rock it. Just because like, I feel like we were rocking it all day. Team 7. Um, but there's these like really sexy condos in Mississauga that kind of look like bodies. The Monroe Towers. You can uh, check the link in the description box below. Definitely not putting that link. I think we'll also hit up this uh, parking garage for some low light portraits. Light. Are you out of focus? No, I'm good. Really? I'm surprised. Portrait now in low light. Stand up. This lens looks like shit. What's up, guys? We're back. Was I supposed to do it with you? Probably. Okay. Okay, so in <laughs> conclusion, now you've seen all the images, you've seen all the video, and I realized the video was not very good in this video. Does that make sense? Yeah. The video testing was not very good in this video. That's because I actually don't think a lot of people use these phones to shoot video. Do you shoot video with your phone a lot? Uh, no. Shoot photos a lot? Yes. I think that's an everyday use kind of scenario. I shoot video with my phone a lot, so I do prefer the 8 because it does 24 FPS. 
and that gives it that more of that cinematic look. If you want, there's a link in the description to the video that I shot around Toronto in 4K24 and 4K60. Pretty remarkable what this sensor can do in terms of video. But when it comes to photos, I honestly don't think there's that big of a difference between the two. I'm gonna leave it entirely up to you guys to take a look at those images. I'll probably put a link in the description to a gallery of all the images so you don't have to watch them in the video itself because sometimes that changes the quality a little bit. But like my opinion flat out is I don't think the 8 is a worthy upgrade if you're just doing it for the camera. If you want wireless charging, you kind of like the glass back, maybe. I don't think that's a big deal breaker for me. I honestly prefer the look of the iPhone 7 to the iPhone 8. I like the matte black. Yeah, the glass reminds you of like the iPhone 5 and yeah. that's not flattering at all. Um, actually, no, the iPhone 4. The iPhone 4 had the glass back. This one, real fucking ugly. Um, so I'm not a big fan of the look of this phone and I also don't like the idea of the glass back and wireless charging is useless because I like to use my phone while it's charging, which means every time you lift this thing off the mat, it stops charging. So honestly, what's the point? Um, other than that, I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think. It was different. It was fun. It was fun? Yeah. If you like these, let us know. If you hate it, let us know. Um, we'll probably make another one regardless. Food and photos. No? Not a good name for the no, series? It's stupid. Oh my god. Is... Goodbye. No, we need a, we need something cool. What? Peace and... out, freaks and geeks. No, I think... Later days. That's from the weekenders. You can't steal. Catch you now, or I'll see you on another time. What are you doing?